I'll just tell you right now, that's where people get lost. Most of the things you've been told are wrong. How to get millions of followers, wrong. That's not the place to start. That's the place you might end up, but it's not the place you start. Hi everybody, this is Carolina Millan. Welcome to a new episode of Beyond the Hustle. And I am here today with a recurring guest, somebody I really admire, a mentor, a friend. He's a New York Times bestselling author, co-founder of mastermind.com with Tony Robbins. He's also done the biggest launch in internet history with Matthew McConaughey, Mr. Dean Graciosi. How are you, Dean? I'm doing so good. Good to see you again. It's good to see you. I think it's the first time I've seen you so much in so little time. <laughs> I know, I know. It was great seeing you in proximity, seeing you in person. Yeah, last week, Dean and I were um, in Arizona at, at the Top 20 Mastermind for the affiliates. And it was an honor for me to get an invitation to that event. Uh, thank you so much again. I'm, I'm still blown away and still trying to figure out how to implement <laughs> all the... <laughs> it was fantastic. And, and you know, I want to say, Carolina, you know, the, those of you that are watching right now, today on this interview, we, we want to share some ways. I wish I could speak Spanish. My wife does. I, I should have her in here translating. Um, and so does my son. My three-year-old speaks Spanish, better Spanish than me. But today, what I want to share, I think is really important. The opportunity for Tony Robbins and myself to help you, if we possibly can, if you're someone who knows you're meant for more, but sometimes you're not sure if you are enough. You know enough, you have enough. You're not sure where to start. We understand that because together we've been in this for 72 years, which sounds crazy of helping people ignite their true potential, see opportunity rather than obstacles, see their strengths, not their weaknesses and find the path to lean into their own thing. So I, I hope we can ignite your soul today on this call. I, I just wanna say getting the opportunity to, to know Carolina, she asks all the questions that are 100% to help you be a better version of yourself so she could serve at a greater level. So if you're watching this amazing woman right now, you're in the right place, watching the right person. And I'm here to serve for the next 30 to 45 minutes. So I hope you can shut off distractions. If you know you're meant for more and uh, open to investigating what's possible in today's shifting world, then I think you're in the right spot at the right time. Thank you, Dean. Absolutely. You guys are in the right spot. So stay with us until the end. You're going to absolutely love this. I have a bunch of really good questions here for you. So let's dive into it. Um, so the first thing, I know you're very passionate. I am as well about the knowledge industry. And I'd love for people to hear how you first got involved in the knowledge industry. What was your aha moment, right? When you, when you were getting started that made you go like, huh, I think I can build a career out of this. Yeah, you know, here's the thing. When you even hear the word knowledge industry, maybe you're not even sure what that is, or maybe you are, and it seems like it's for other people like Carolina and other people who are influencers or Tony Robbins or myself or others. But let me just share something. It is one of the fastest growing industries in the world. It's, it's compounding faster than anyone could have imagined because the world is learning that if they want to do something, the easiest way to figure out how to do it is to find someone who already has and pay them or cut a check or get their course or be coached by them or mentored by them so they can go faster. Simple as that. Well, when people say to me, explain the knowledge industry and how do I know I have value? I simply always say, if you could go back and spend a day with your 20 year old self, how valuable would that be? Mm. The answer is always priceless or millions. There's somebody else right now starting off where you once were and could use your help. That's the knowledge industry. I'm not trying to oversimplify it. I didn't understand it at this depth. I never would have thought in a million years. In fact, Carolina, you asked how I got started. I bought Tony Robbins course 27 years ago. And it did two things for me. It made me look at life differently. It made me put on a different set of glasses, right? I usually wear glasses today. I don't have them on, but it gave me a new lens to look through. It gave me a new perspective on life. It, it let me work on my strengths, not my weaknesses, to realize life happened for me, not to me, that I could look through the lens of opportunity, not obstacles. Like I said earlier, it shifted my, my mind. 
immediately. But the second thing it did, and this is the part I want you to hear, I realized that Tony Robbins learned from Jim Rohn. It was one of his mentors. And Tony was sharing information that he had learned from other people and through his own life experience. And I gave him a check for that. I invested in myself because of his life experience. There wasn't a product. There wasn't a warehouse. He could sell it over and over again. And I was like, in the moment, I knew I wanted to be in this business. Tony mm -hmm. Robbins, I cut him a check to help me. Like, here, really think about this. What other industry do you know where you really get to impact others in a positive way and have the chance for success? Can you name one? No. Nope. I don't know. I mean, you could sell a great product on Amazon, but it doesn't fulfill your soul. You can have a career where you make a million dollars a year, but if you're not fulfilled, would you take it today? So the reason I love this industry now I get to look back, I've been in it for 27 years, but the reason I, I love this industry is I get to help impact lives on a daily basis and I get to live a level of success I never thought was possible at the same time. Meeting people, whoever thought I would do a, an event and partner with Matthew McConaughey, it all started because I got in this event. Who would have thought that I could donate 20 million meals to Feeding America or donate $600,000 to Operation Underground Railroad to help kids in slavery throughout the world or build schools in Africa? Who would have ever thought in a million years that would have been possible for a kid who didn't go past high school? It was because one day after buying Tony's course, I said, I'm doing this. I don't know what I'm going to sell. I never went to college. I have dyslexia. I'm not the smartest guy in the world, but I know someone needs something I've learned in my life. And I just went all in. And I don't mean to make a long answer out of a short question, but every single one of us has learned something from others or has a skill, a hobby, a passion that is insanely valuable to someone else. And the fact of the matter is you just need the confidence and, and the capabilities and to know where to start. So you can go through each step of this to say, oh, this is the experience, okay? How do I package it? How do I offer it? How do I sell through service? How do I make this a business? And once you understand those set steps, every single one of you watching should be explore at least exploring the opportunity to be in this industry. Um, for someone new to the knowledge industry, people who are listening right now, they're getting excited. They're like, okay, this sounds good. What are the initial steps for people to follow to turn this into, into a career? Okay, first off, I want you to write this down. And if this seems like a shameless plug, it is, but it's a plug for you. That's write right. down future315.com. Future315.com. That is the opportunity for you to get free access to a five-day challenge that Tony Robbins and myself with some amazing guests are doing on August 1st. It's going to be about two hours a day, five days long. Yes, it's five days because your life is worth it. And through that process, over those five days, we will share those strategies. Now, it's not just a shameless plug. It would be crazy for you to miss it. In any other world, try to buy a Tony Robbins event or a Dean Graziosi event. It's thousands of dollars. Once a year on, in this industry and in Mastermind, we go live for free and we invite guests like Jay Shetty. We have a surprise guest that we're confirming today that will blow your mind. Mm. But if you look at the lineup of people who are coming to serve you, to show you how they did it, it will blow your mind. So that's number one. Number two, how do you start? First off, you have to realize, I want something different. I'm not happy. I'm settling. I'm living someone else's life or I'm doing it to serve others. It's time to serve myself. So first you have to have the passion and the desire to do your own thing. That, that's first and foremost. There's no magical money machine. So I just want to be clear on that. The second thing you have to do, once you realize, yes, this industry, yes, I want something more. Yes, now is the time. The third thing is, what the hell would I sell? What would I share? And that's what we do on day two of the challenge is really dial in you know, we only get overwhelmed when we, th when we think about sharing things we're not great at. Mm. But when we dial in the one thing, the small little niche that we've mastered and don't even realize it in most cases, our confidence level goes up. So the second thing is going through our process to dial in what you're going to be sharing, right? When I first started teaching people in real estate, 
if I thought about teaching people how to buy multifamily homes, I never did it. So that was scary to me. If I was teaching people how to buy malls and businesses and gas stations, I'd be a liar because I had never done it. If I was teaching people how to make a million dollars net profit monthly, I'd be a liar. I had never done it when I started. But I did learn how to buy single family homes with little money down in my little town, the town that I'm in right now. It's where I started. That, man, I was a master at that because I was a broke kid who didn't want to watch my mom struggle anymore. And I learned how to get property houses for little to no money down and then fix them myself and then sell them or rent them for a profit. So when I thought about, I wasn't the real estate guy. I wasn't the apartment guy or the commercial guy or the million dollar a month guy. I was the person that could help a newbie get into their first deal. Now that I crushed. So once I went through that process of dialing it in, I'm like, well, I could teach that. And once you have that, you go, oh, huh. Yeah, I could do that. So that's that's the next step is knowing what it is. And then the next step after that is identifying who wants it. And then using social media rather than it using you to go find those people and then build a curriculum, which we share on day four, which is going to blow your mind. And it becomes real. At the end of the five days, I promise you, you're going to be like, this is a real deal. I need to do this. And, and that's what we're excited about. That's why Tony and I now have people in over a hundred countries we're working with to help them uh, uh, go into this industry. And most never even thought about it when they came to us. So it's pretty exciting. I love that. So what are what would you say are some of the um, now that's a case study, an amazing one. What would you say are some mistakes you've seen people make when entering the knowledge industry that has prevented them from getting those results? Overwhelm. Trying mm -hmm. to tackle it all at once. Thinking, oh, I got to have thousands of followers on Instagram and social, and maybe I should start a podcast and I'll talk about it. What happens is people end up doing all the external things that they see, but they don't really understand what goes on behind the curtain. The fact of the matter is we want to help people get their first sale before they have 10 followers on Instagram, before they're an influencer, before they have a podcast. There is the strategies that Tony and I have taught and learned over 70 plus years of doing this is when you have the heart to serve a real product, you know how to deliver it through confidence. You understand your ideal client. We can help people find the people that need them right now. So I think the biggest mistake they made is, oh, I got a podcast and nobody's listening, or I'm doing this social media channel. I go live every day, but you're not learning how to monetize. You're not learning how to turn that into actual revenue and actual sales and actual impact through service. So most of what you see out there of what people are doing is wrong. I just tell you right now, that's where people get lost. Most of the things you've been told are wrong. How to get millions of followers, wrong. That's not the place to start. That's the place you might end up, but it's not the place you start. So Dean, I know that um, for a lot of people, one of the reasons they don't start their own business or get into the knowledge industry is because they're waiting for permission from other people or they're scared of what their loved ones might say. They're scared of being judged, right? What is your advice for somebody who is in that situation where they're like, ah, oh, but what are my friends going to say or my family is going to say or what if they don't support me? What would you say to that person? Hey, I think we could squash that in two seconds. Um, rate that, you know, that, that fear, that worry, rate that in your mind right now on a scale of one to 10. The fear that your friends might find out you're doing your own thing or your family thinks you're nuts. It could be a, an eight, nine, 10 right? Of like, yeah, but what if they do? It'll look weird. I'm not sure. You've definitely missed out on opportunities in the past because of that. If you're worried about it now, you've worried about it in the past. So let me tell you. So let's say you don't explore this. You don't lean in. You just keep doing what you're doing because you're afraid people will judge you. Give it an eight. I've done this a lot with other people, thousands, tens of thousands of people, eight, a lot of nines. Then let me ask you this. Now let's pretend it's the end of your life. Life's over. You meet your maker. And you realize you missed it. You missed your opportunity. You played small. You let little things stop you from being the woman or the man you were meant to be. And you meet your maker. And your maker plays you a video of the woman you could have been if you didn't worry about those people, those decisions, those fears. 
What would be your only wish? In that moment, what would be your only wish? To go back and have another shot, right? Mm. Would you give two craps about what people thought when you go back? Rate the fact, rate how much pain it is getting to the end of your life and realize, realize you played small and you missed it. Now that's a 10. That's a real 10. Go back and 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 rate the one that you said before that was an eight or a nine. It's a one. Who gives a crap about your, what your family think? It, it's not that you have to love them any less. As my buddy Trent Shelton says, it's your prescription. Your, your glasses are made for you. So you're seeing a future that's designed for you that you want to go after, that you want to do. Did you ever give your glasses to someone else? They can't see. They, they, they squint, right? God, the universe, whatever you believe, gave you this prescription, gave you this perception, gave you this vision. How could you expect others to see it? So realize there could be no more pain than getting to the end of your life and knowing you missed out on being the best version of yourself. So do whatever it takes to, to get the movement started today. I love that. I love that. And just a, just a reminder for you guys, um, go to future315.com to register for the challenge. Trent Shelton, whom you just quoted, he's going to be one of the speakers, right? Yeah, he'll be there as well. There's, I mean, you got to go look at the page. You can't believe who's coming. And by the time you see this, I think our special guests may have said yes already. And finally, what's your, your advice for people who, because I, I hear this a lot from my own clients and people who participate in, in my online events. Um, some people are afraid of doing, launching their course or doing, you know, their first webinar or whatever, and nobody's showing up um, or nobody raising their hand and being interested. Uh, what's your advice for that person? And I know it's also, it also has to do with, with having that stamina, but, um, what would you say to those people who are like, Oh, nobody showed up. What do I do now? Or nobody bought or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Um, we live in an instant, we live in a world where people are waiting for instant gratification. We all overestimate what we can do in a year and underestimate what we can do in five. Here's what I'd say. Trent Shelton, who's one of the most watched people in the world right now, his first year, it was his aunt, his mom, and his dad watching his videos. But he knew where he was going. He didn't have someone to guide him like we want to guide you, but he knew where he was going. And then when he had one person follow, he just said, what if that one person needed to hear my message that day? And he did it. He still, still to this day, when millions and millions watch his video, he's like, I'm still doing it for the one person that needed it today. Stop thinking that you're going to be an overnight uh, influencer with millions of views. That's just not the way it works. But you could get your first client in the next 30 days, your next paying client, your first paying client in the next 30 days. You could double and quadruple that and, and compound that over six months. This could be a real business in a year from now. But if you're expecting... 40 days from now, the money is piling in, the likes are cranking up. Where does that work anywhere in life? It doesn't. It's a dream. It's a pipe dream that we've been sold by influencers making everything look easy. They're showing the perfect relationship. And when the camera goes off, they're fighting. Or they're showing themselves in a jet that they rented on the tarmac for five minutes to pretend. Yeah. Follow people who've already done it. Know that it takes more time. Do it for the one person. Model those who've already done it. And, and persist until you succeed. Thank you. Thank you. That's, that's beautiful. Uh, Dean, I'm so, so, so grateful to have spent this time with you. Um, you know, you know how I feel about you. I've said it so many times. <laughs> so again, for everybody watching, listening, go right now to future315.com. Get registered for the Own Your Future Challenge. It's starting in just a few days. Uh, Dean, thank you again. Any final words of advice or inspiration that you want to share with our audience? Well, listen, if you're still here, that's just, that says it all. If you are still listening, then you are the exact person that needs to be there. You've spent two hours a day on things that don't serve you, don't serve the man or the woman you're supposed to be. Commit, lock it in, go to, go to future315.com. Look at all the incredible speakers, lock it in, go to the next page, watch the video, go to the confirmation page, put it on your calendar. 
write it on a piece of paper, put it on your kitchen table, show up live, play full out. And uh, I promise things won't be the same at the end of this event. Appreciate you, Catalina. Carolina. You, uh, you're always there to serve. You're always, uh, you always leave the, the most beautiful comments. My wife loves all that you share on social. So keep up the good work. Everybody else will see you on August 1st. It's coming up soon. So don't miss it. See you guys. 